see what we've got in here. I've had these on back order a very, very long time. And they finally arrived. Okay, take the packaging out. Okay, here it is. Shelly plug. Let's get rid of the box. Okay, let's see what these look like. I'm hoping they won't be too massive. Okay. That's pretty tidy. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty decent. It's not too big. It's not too fat. Yeah, happy with that. Um, going to get these plugged into my fridge and my freezer. Um, I'm going to add them into Home Assistant and see what sort of juice those two appliances are using. So without further ado, let's get these installed. Here's the cupboard uh, where my fridge and freezer are plugged in. So I've turned these both off and I'm just going to plug two of the Shelly plugs in. And when I turn these on, they should flash blue to tell me they're ready to be set up. Okay, they're both flashing blue. So what I'll do now is I'll jump into the Shelly app uh, to configure these. You do have the option, um, I think, of using, like they, they generate a local Wi-Fi network or a local access point, I should say. And you can connect to that access point and configure them through a web page. But I just find the Shelly app um, whilst it's a little bit finicky and a little bit unreliable, I tend to find it a bit quicker than trying to find the IP address of the device or, you know, search for the network um, and all that. So I just find that it's a, it streamlines the process a little bit. So let's do that now. So I've jumped into the Shelly app and we'll start the process of adding a device. I'll enter my Wi-Fi SSID. and the Wi-Fi password. And then I'll choose Shelly plug as the type of device. It'll now find the Wi-Fi networks of the two plugs we've switched on, and I'll choose to join one. I don't know which device it is, uh, but I'll pop it in the kitchen for now, and I'll repeat that process for the second plug. All right, so both plugs have been added to the Shelly app. It's basically connected to the Wi-Fi. Next thing I want to do is make sure they're turned on. So I'm going to turn one on. And then I'm going to check. Okay, so that one's obviously the fridge. Uh, the light's on in now. So I'll go into the app now and just rename the device so I know which is which, and then I'll turn the other one on. So back in the app, we can see one of the plugs is switched on, so that's going to be the fridge. So we'll jump into edit, and we'll give that one the fridge name. We'll save that. and. Then by a process of elimination, <clears throat> the other one is the freezer. Both plugs are turned on now and you can see the green ring around them indicating as much. Next step is to set them up so that when the power comes on, the plug will be turned on. And I'm doing that because this is for the fridge and freezer. So if there's a power cut, I want to make sure that when the power is restored, both of these plugs will turn back on immediately, even if they've got no Wi-Fi connection. Because uh, obviously having the fridge and freezer off is bad. So I'll do that uh, now. So first step is to change the input and output settings so that when the Shelly plug itself is powered up, it'll turn on. And we do that there with the relay power on default. Then we want to disconnect the plug 
from the Shelly cloud. So we get to that under the cloud setting and we turn that off. So with my plugs installed, it's now time to hop over to Home Assistant. We're going to go to Settings, Devices and Services, and we'll add a new integration. Search for Shelly. And we'll see that it's already found both of the plugs on the network. So we'll go ahead and add both of those plugs in. We'll just put them in the kitchen. And then we'll just do that again. Now we'll put that one in the kitchen too. And that's it. Uh, I've added both of the plugs in now so we can navigate to those and we'll be able to see their current power and energy. So that's it. I uh, hope you've found this useful. Um, I'll try and do another video uh, where I can show you how we pull that sort of information into the energy tab and then you'll be able to view kind of historic consumption uh, for both of those devices. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, please do uh, like the video if you found it useful and if you're interested in seeing more of these kind of videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching.